Hi, I'm Steve Mathis. Welcome to the first edition of the BTOsports.com Bottom Line Show. Again, I'm Steve Mathis. I'm going to be your host all year. I'm excited to be back here. I've got Teen Wolf with me, the cameraman. I've got everything planned this year. Uh, you may remember this show from a couple years ago. Exciting new episodes each and every week that took you behind the scenes of the AMA Outdoor Nationals and what really goes on. And to celebrate my coming back this year, I'm going to go around and find out exactly who else is excited about this because I know I am and I know the teams I've been talking to are just frothing at the mouth waiting for me to come by and see them. So of course my first stop and my usually first stop in the pits is the Monster Energy Kawasaki team. Let's go in here and find out exactly what they're thinking about the bottom line show for 2010. And if they're as excited as I am, I, I, I'm thinking they will be. You know, one of my good friends on the scene is uh, David Pingree. He's now the manager of Troy Lee Designs Honda. He did work at Racer X, still does work at Racer X, and is a good friend of mine. He's not around here right now, but I really want to try to find out what he was like as a manager. So I've rounded up the mechanics here, and I'm going to ask them, Matt, what, what's Pingree like as a manager? Well, you know, he, he's pretty good, but, you know, he's always looking for a shortcut uh, when, he, when he's doing things. Yeah. Uh, this truck driver here, Brian Barnhart, Big B. Hey, man, I'm back. From where? Well, the, B, the, bo the bottom line show a couple years ago, btosports.com is sponsoring it, and I'm back this summer. What is, what is the bottom line show? I've never heard of that. Hey, Clint, Clint, what's Ping like as a manager? You've worked for him for a number of years now. Uh, he's pretty much short-tempered. I, I did it a couple years ago. We, we did a bunch of funny things in here. Uh, I was around quite a bit doing, filming. Uh, I don't remember that. He's very busy driving the truck, probably in the year that I've been gone away. He sustained a horrible car wreck, probably lost some of his memory. Let's try somebody else. And Rich, uh, first year on the team, but uh, been around Pingree a lot, West Coast Series. What uh, What's he like as a manager? Oh, he's good. I mean, anytime I'm looking for an answer, it's just a, a short answer, you know? Right. Always a short answer. Could you cut you off? Yeah, just very short. Okay, well, there we go. We found out a few things about Pingree as a manager. Let's see what else we can do. All right, I'm gonna take you guys behind the scenes into where the announcers go, where the team managers are, and where everybody, the movers and the shakers of the industry are. So we just gotta get through this gate right here. We're just gonna go up to see the announcers. I can't have you bothering the announcers right now. Okay, okay. all right. Um, I, I, my name is Davey Coombs. Really? Yeah, Brian Villapoto, the bottom line show is back. I haven't seen it. No, 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 you, you definitely saw it. I, I used you a couple times when you were riding for Mitch over there. We had this show, and you seemed to like it quite a bit. I don't recall. I'd have to, I guess you'd have to pull, pull it back up and show me. RV had a horrible crash at St. Louis this year. Clearly, he's not with it all upstairs either. He doesn't remember. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm... His name is Davey Coon. I'm famous. I can't, I can't be seen. Come on down. Well, looks like we can't go see what's going on in the manager's and announcer's tower. The, uh, the dirt digglers weren't happy with me. All right, and I've got the man himself, TLD Honda team manager, David Pingree. Ping, uh, I just spoke to your mechanics about what you were like as a manager, because you know, we're friends, but I don't work for you, but I wanted to get a real insight into how you were. And uh, they had some interesting things to say. Um, what do you think you are as a manager? Well, you know, it's a tall order here to uh, come in and, and get the job done right, you know, and, uh, you know, I don't want to say I'm tower over them or whatever. I, I try to keep it on a pretty level field, but, you know, big shoes, big shoes yeah, here to fill. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I think that's kind of sums it up, really. Right, right. All right, here we are in Hangtown. I found a bunch of spectators. These guys know what's happening. They know what they missed out in 2009, and they know what they're going to get in 2010. Hey, young fella. Did you uh, miss the BTOsports.com bottom line show last year? No. You know what I'm talking about? No. These kids clearly are too young. They probably don't even know what Star Wars is. Do you have a problem with them, like, kind of maybe not respecting your authority, or do you, do you find yourself, you know, you kind of tower over them a little bit? Oh, no, I'm big on respect, large, yeah, yeah. around here. Um, you know, they, they, I, I, you know I'm, I'm here, they're down here. I'm yeah. tall, big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those kids were way too young, but here I am with a veteran of the sport, somebody who was around back when I did the BTOsports.com bottom line show in 2009. Jeremy Albrecht, team manager, JGR. J-Bone, are you excited for the bottom line show to come back? 
I don't, I don't really know. I, I don't really watch it. No, you did. 2009? Yeah. 2008. That long ago. 2008. Oh, eight, 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 eight. Eight. I didn't do yeah. it last year. Yeah, sorry. Uh, some say you're a giant in the industry, even with a managing job and writing job, and uh, you know this upcoming DVD you have. Just a real giant presence. I mean, you know, a giant in the industry. I don't know about that, but yeah. quite large. Yeah, quite yeah. large. Yeah. Would you put yourself on the level of a, of a Davy Coombs or a, you know somebody like that? Oh, uh, you know, well to compare it like to Hollywood terms, uh, well, not Brad Pitt, but maybe Bruce Willis. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, I'm Die Hard. Kind of. I'm gonna go. Yeah, see ya. You get out of here. Yeah. I don't really like the show anyway. I guess so. Uh, yeah. I, I guess I better watch it. Hey, you can't. I, I'm out. Hey, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm, I'm able. I'm able to be here. I'm gonna put those up. Let me get those up. I'm a fan. Go, go, Grant. Right, right. I got you. So like basically saving lives and running a race team. It's kind of like that. You know, the best thing here though is that. These guys have my back. You know, I know that they wouldn't, uh, you know, ever disrespect me or talk behind my back. We're we're a unit, cohesive. I know that sounds like maybe a football halftime speech, yeah. but you know, synergy, synergy. I got that in talking to them. So there you have it, folks. There's a little peek behind the curtain, if you will, of how things work at Troy Lee Designs Honda. And as you can see, the man speaks softly, but he carries a large stick. Hey everybody, listen, I don't like commercials, you don't like commercials, but this show wouldn't have been possible with the fine folks at BTOsports.com. So just listen to this, go buy something, listen to the Mathis Transworld Pulp MX podcast to save yourself some money. Check it out. This man right here, Jeff Emig, four-time national and supercross champion. He's buying me a Jamba Juice. And I'm going to give you a Mono V, of course. A Mono V? Free. That's what do where, I? That's where my real is it for my is it, is it for my hair? What I just remembered is the problem is is that all I have is a dollar. So why can't you're actually going to have to buy, it, dude? All I have is a dollar. <laughs> Cross I barely it. even get paid to do these shows. You're a supercross and national there's, champion. There's you have per diem. You have so much money, it's not even funny. Yeah, but I don't have any in my pocket. That's the problem. Do you take subway cards? All right, I'm here with 10-time world champion Stefan Everts. He's uh, he's in America, and he's here to watch Michael Lessie and Tommy Searle. And uh, I think they had a pretty good day today. I'm going to try to interview him. I'm not sure. He's from Belgium. But Stefan, nice to see you here in America. Hey, I speak English, man. Just take it easy. No. I, I, your riders did well today at Hangtown. I understand you. Do normal. Act normal. It's really embarrassing. What I if, apologize, guys. This is... Uh... What if I just tell you I know Tim Ferry and he's good for it? Mike Alessi was fast today. Mike wrote really good. We we're really happy with his result, uh, especially in the second motor. He wrote really well. Uh... But hey, uh, we've been... Monavi and uh, Jamba Juice, Jeff Emig, no, Jason Wygant buying. Jeff Emig could not buy. Said he could buy, but he couldn't. I use that trick. I got all of my hundreds are in my back pocket. I always. <laughs> you, that's the trick. You keep the. Oh man, I forgot to go oh, to the ATM. Oh, sorry. Right. Not only is he a great rider, he's a great businessman. Businessman. Yeah. All right. Do you like America? Uh, I don't like idiots like you. <laughs> All right, well, I'm trying to get through to him, but there's a cultural difference. I'm Canadian in America. He's Belgium. It's not working out. We'll have to try again. But thank you for coming out. Thank you. See you next week.